In tutorial number four of this series, I showed you how to install the JCE, the Joomla Content Editor. In tutorial number five, we use the JCE to create this very basic Welcome to the Art Gallery article, and in tutorial number six, we linked this article to a single article menu item type that is the home page for our site. In this tutorial, I want to show you the features of the JCE more thoroughly. Now, this article is very basic, and if we go to the front end of the site, you see that there's not a whole lot of formatting that has been done. We're going to return to the back end to cover these features. I'm not going to go through every single feature of the JCE, as you'll be familiar with many of them if you've used any type of word processor in the past. First, let's very briefly review what we've already done as far as formatting with this article. I want to add in a new paragraph, so I'm going to hit enter here and go down one line, and then I'll click on the paste as plain text button. Remember, this allows us to paste in text from another resource and remove any formatting that comes with it. The tendency of most users is to copy that text and paste it in there with the formatting, which can be damaging to the site. If you click on this button, however, you can paste your text into this window, and once you do that, you can click on the insert button down below and any formatting will be removed. It's a small step but a really important one. Now the next thing we did to format this article was to create a heading at the top of the page. We can use the drop down at the top to select different types of formats. In this case we used a heading 3 but there are many options to pick from. Now when we talk about formatting Talking about headings is really important because different search engines will index the content of your web page depending on an H1 or an H2 tag, which means heading 1 or heading 2. Now we'll close the formatting here and I'll show you the HTML source code of this article. To toggle to the HTML view, click on this button within the editor, and this is going to show you your HTML code. It's not important to know HTML code, but if I click on this, you see the very first line is an H3. That's because that's a heading 3 tag we created. Now if we wanted a search engine to index the H1 or H2 content, we'd want to change that to either a heading 1 or a heading 2. Click the same button to toggle back to the regular article view. The next thing I want to show you how to do is how to insert an image using the JCE. This is a really popular question. First I'll put my cursor where I want the image to appear and then click on this picture frame button within the editor. This will take me to the image manager. So once I click on the button I'll be directed to a new window. At the bottom of this window I'll see files, image files, that are already available for me to use in my site. This file, for instance, is the logo we uploaded in a previous tutorial. This logo already appears on the front end. Now, if I click on this button, I can upload new images to my site. I'll click on the Upload button, and then I'll click on the Browse button so I can begin browsing my computer. I can select any of the files I've already created for my site. I'm going to select my Art Gallery image here, and then click on the Upload button to upload that to my Media Manager. I'll show you how to access the Media Manager independently in a minute. For now, it looks like this image is ready to insert, so I'm going to click on the Insert button below. But I'm going to get this warning saying a URL is required. I'll say OK. What happened here is that the properties in Preview need to be complete, and all I really need to do is click on the file name below, so the Preview and Properties are now completed, and then I can insert the image. The image really doesn't look that good though, and the text is kind of strange around the image. Another popular question we get is how to wrap text around an image. Let's select the image again, and then we'll go back to the image manager. Watch what happens in this preview area here when I select left alignment. The text jumps up and around the image. The text is really close to the image though, and by using the margin feature here, I can add in a margin of 10, and that's for pixels. Notice how it stays consistent on all sides. Click on the Update button, and the text will now wrap around your image. Let's go ahead and save this article. We'll get the green message, and we'll return to the front end. We'll refresh the page here, and we can see that our image now appears nicely inside of the article. We'll return to the back end so we can cover a few additional features of the JCE. Another really popular question we get is how to expand an article to view in the full screen mode. 
Now if I scroll down here you'll see that there is this drag and drop feature that I can expand and contract to view my article in a larger or smaller area. I can also click on this button within the JCE to expand or toggle to the full screen mode. This will allow me more room to work with and this is especially helpful if I write long articles. Simply click on the button to go back to the standard article view. The next thing I want to show you how to do is how to link text within the article to either external URLs or to content or different types of resources within your site. First, highlight the text that you'd like to link and click on this link icon within the JCE. That'll take you to this window where you can paste in a URL. I'm going to paste in a link to the Smithsonian Museum here and down below in the target drop down menu I'm going to select to open in a new window. You do have a few options here. After clicking the insert button you can see that the hyperlink has been created. Let's also pretend that we want to link this text to internal content on the site. Highlight the text again and you'll return to the JCE to click on the same chain link option. This time what we'll do is either select a contact content, menu item, or a web link. Now we don't have much content in our site right now because we just launched it. So for now we're going to select cancel on this feature. If you'd ever like to break a link that you've created in the article, simply highlight the link and click on the unlink button within the JCE. I'm not going to do that right now though. I'm going to go ahead and save this article. Then I'm going to return to the front end of the site and I'll refresh the page. I'll scroll down here and what I want to do is I want to check my external URL link. I'll click on the link here and in a new window we're linked to the Smithsonian Museum. Let's return to the back end and we'll give a really brief overview of some other JCE features. There are other popular features of the JCE like using these buttons to add indents or outdents to your text, these buttons to feature unordered or ordered lists, or using this series of buttons to add a table and edit that table. You can also click on this anchor icon to add an anchor into your article which is especially useful if you have longer content. Later on through this series I'll show you a couple additional features with the JCE and the next tutorial is going to show you how to start using modules within Joomla 3.2.